So unfortunately, no emotes still. Uh, they just haven't been approved yet. I hear that the process takes a hot minute, so... I, uh, I added the ability to go like this. And, uh... Tell me to stay hydrated. So you can, uh, go ahead and do that. Just so that you can use your shark coins. Or... You can uh, save them for when the emotes come. I, I have them set to auto price them, so. It'll be fun. But for now. Playing some Kingdom Hearts. We. I don't want to start a new game. Uh, we beat Atlantica. Uh, and now I guess. I forgot that we were. In, in Peter Pan's world. That's my B. I completely forgot. Maybe it's because Peter Pan was being such an ass to us. That, uh, was negative cool. Man. Like, I understand. They, they got guards. That's a, that's a good call. But did they really just not lock the door? I do not know how this camera works. I'll get to it eventually. Maybe it's just because we're in, like, such an enclosed space that, like, the camera just doesn't want to. In general. Guess we're gonna keep going up. Ooh, I need that help though, please. Give me the mint candy that restores my life and vitality. Really? Really? Alright. What does yellow do? Yellow does nothing. Ooh, can I... Nope. No, that's, that's where I was. That was the jail. So how do I leave this place? Unless maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet? Can't be it. If I wasn't supposed to be here yet, why would it uh, have put me here? this pole doesn't do anything. What a great start. I legitimately might have to uh, come back to this. Well, actually, let's see if it'll let us go to the gummy ship. Because if it lets us go to the gummy ship, then that means we might not supposed to be here. Yeah, I can just fuck off. Neat. So let's just uh, warp here, and then maybe we'll get to this place. I think that's going to be the, the hot strat that we got to pull here. I just realized that maybe... Maybe I could have just gone the other way instead of warping to Agrabah. I don't know. I live, I live my best life. Maybe I want to go to Agrabah. Maybe I want to see the, the cool palace from outside my ship before finally heading off to who knows where. 
Not that warp gate. Because I think that takes me back to, uh... Traverse Town, was it? Yeah, I think it was Traverse Town. I think it's Twilight Town that I get confused with. But it's been so long since I've played, like, the Roxas game that I'm not 100% sure. I really need to see if I can get my copy of that back. I lent it to a friend, and, like, I forgot about it, so it's my bad. I've always made it a point where, like, if I forget to ask for a game back, then that's on me. But if you just straight up don't give it back to me when I ask, then that, that ain't cool. Is this more coral? Because I don't mind if it is, but I don't know any other series from Disney that would give us more coral. Maybe we'll go to the, mer uh, the world of uh, A Little Mermaid 2. Can we please get a, uh, a Kingdom Hearts game where it's just all the direct-to-video sequels? I would kill for, like, a, a Cinderella 3, a twist in time world. Because that one was actually kind of okay. Ooh, what are you doing, buddy? I like the way that you're piercing my armor. Oh, I exploded. Alright, let's, let's try going this way. Let's try from behind. I'll fully admit that maybe I've done this wrong. These things happen. be too easy. What can I use power for? Because I'm not using it. Clicking the sticks doesn't do anything. D-pad, triggers. Nothing. Ooh boy. I probably could have gotten away with that, but I chose not to. That's my choice. Sure is a psychedelic cloud that we're in. For a second I thought we were going to get into an earthbound fight. That's one game I kind of wish that I played when I was younger. Uh, growing up, we didn't have, like, a lot of money to spend on video games. So it was very rare that we got games outside of, like, birthdays or Christmas. Uh, but we'd always rent them. And Earthbound was one of those games that, like, you look on the shelf and it's, like, really close to Zelda and you really want Link to the Past. Not only that, but, you know, I grew up with a younger brother. and. You know, we can share. Though I always got away with the uh, plug in the second controller for Ocarina of Time trick. I didn't always get away with it, that's a lie. After a certain amount of time, my brother realized that nothing he was doing was actually doing anything. And I couldn't pull that shit anymore. I still remember, though. Like, 100% with clarity. Uh, the birthday that I got Ocarina of Time. I was so happy because every time I wanted to rent it, we couldn't because of my brother. 
and I went down to the exact place that I'm sitting right now, but instead of a flat screen like I have right now, uh, we had the CRT, and I opened up my pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I got. Didn't get anything cool, I don't remember. I think maybe I got, like, a Dark Magician, but, like, a friend gave one to me, too, so I had two of them. Uh, but I played, like, a bit of Ocarina of Time before school that day, and it was super nice. Also, totally thought that Halloween Town was Kingdom Hearts 2. Did not think it was Kingdom Hearts 1. I mean, Goofy, you might want to hang back. You got a bit of brain damage going on. I'm going to save, though. Good old Guillotine Square. Wonder if we'll see the heartless version of Sanson. Oh. Do these guys just chill? Okay. I can vibe with that. Oh man, is this the famous guillotine of Guillotine Square? For a second I thought it was double-bladed. And now, allow me to introduce the Master of Terror, the King of Nightmares, Jack Ellington! What's up? All the emo girls in junior high school were like super in love with you. Maybe that's why those same girls were super into Kingdom Hearts, now that I think about it. Thank you. Thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. Good on ya. You, uh, you doing alright, buddy? I noticed that you specifically have the Heartless emblem on you, so like... You should be attacking me. I encourage it, actually. What's hanging out in the lab? guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Really? Doctor, do you I would never guess. A heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, First, take a container with a lock. Okay. We need the key to this thing first! Oh man, I wonder if there's somebody with a key. I, I would like to see the Heartless Dance. Donald, don't be a stick in the mud. My, that was amazing. Uh, and you are... Sora. Well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. 
Okay, Doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. Okay. Sure. What about, like, an aorta? Maybe, maybe valves and chambers? Atria? No? Okay. some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl. Don't know why I don't think it's uh, very healthy to have your brain exposed like that, doctor. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Yeah, sure. sure. I'm up for whatever. You know, maybe we'll get rid of, uh... We'll get rid of Donald this time. He seems to spend most of the fight with no HP anyway, so... Ooh, torn page. Alright, well, let's find Sally. are completely out of control. We can't stop them. I don't know. Who would have guessed? Hmm. Maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. I mean, if I have nothing to worry about, then yeah, let's go. Oh no, I have a lot of stuff to worry about. Who uh, the guest? Okay, guess I gotta hit this guy first. Man, maybe getting better controls is gonna be my reward for beating each game. I haven't decided whether I'm going to play Chain of Memories on stream or not. Uh, I kind of want to play Birth by Sleep, because it's my favorite, but we'll see. I was already there. Treasure. Oh, I gotta kill this guy first. Die, monster! Uh, I guess that's kind of that ain't cool in this world. Excuse me. Hello. Maybe a third time? Things always come in threes? Please? Hey! I've been playing way too much Final Fantasy XIV lately. Because when I hear the, uh, This is Halloween song, I, I always just default to Good King Moggle Mog. Maybe that's be maybe it's because the extreme version of that quest just hurts. Is a great pain. Man, it feels so good to have like ground based movement again. Atlantica, like I had to deal with verticality. And also the fact that, like, 
none of my physical moves work, like my dodge or sonic. I didn't even attempt to block an Atlantica now that I think about it. Because I wasn't completely sure it would work. I had zero. Zero? Have you seen Sally anywhere? Oh, and now my pet would like to Is join me. Is something you. wrong, Jack? No, Hello, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All Damn straight. Now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. That's I fair. Try something else. There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me, you're going to love it. I mean, do you have studies to back that up? Can I can I see your peer-reviewed article? What do you think, Sally? See, Sally thinks that I would do better. And you know what? I would. Maybe not Sora. He's a uh, kind of goof, but Carson, me, I would. I'd do great. Sure did. A heart. What should we do? Gosh, you really are stupid. Isn't it obvious? Tell Oogie Boogie. <laughs> God. I remember a lot of characters when I was a kid had that, like, girl's voice. But I can't for the life of me remember the names of any of them. Maybe it's because it was always, like, the little kid character who I couldn't relate with. I kind of get why they had those little kid characters, because, like, the target audience might be watching with younger siblings. But they they were never real interesting. Like, they never got amazing development. If the show was fantastic, then yes, they did, but... I guess we're going back to the lab. Alright, Professor, we got some memory. Got like 16 gigs of RAM. Actually, this was, what, like, the early 2000s? Hey, Google. When did the first Kingdom Hearts come out? No, thank you. So I guess Kingdom Hearts was released in 2002, so like... How much RAM would be considered a lot back then? <laughs> that bonehead Jack is really making a heart! <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me! Thanks, Google. Ooh, when I get my hands on that... Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still gonna nab that heart and control the heartlet. <laughs> you do you, Oogie Boogie. You got a fun name, so... I'll allow it. Alright. Let's go back. We'll call this my uh, audition for starring 
instead of the Heartless? By uh, destroying my competition, I'm sure to win. Also, now that I think about it, I'm going to change the, uh, I guess, the category to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. And because I plan on playing Kingdom Hearts as, uh, 2 as well, so I may as well just never have to change the category after that. Plus, it feels like I'm lying and, like, saying that it's on original hardware. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do that right now. There we go. It's technically more accurate too, since I picked up the story so far. And I can just swap out to uh, 2.8 once I hit that. I'm so excited, because uh, 2.8 is another one I never played. Because I didn't know that I was going to pick up Kingdom Hearts 3 until, like, I got a firm, hey, the discs are printed, it's coming out. I guess I can't go that way. Just want to be up on my saving. I used to always do that thing where, like, you'd save three times. I always hated, like, losing my save file because of my own ignorance. Uh, one of the times that I did that that I regret the most, actually, was a Kingdom Hearts game. It was, uh, the one with Roxas. And, uh, I just, for some reason, I was talking with my friend and trying to save my game. And, I guess, I, my hand moved to the wrong option. And instead of saving my game, I deleted my save file when I was, like, I want to say a good 20 hours into the game. I played a lot of the multiplayer, because, you know, I was going to school at the time, so everyone had their DSs. Nothing there? Okay. Guess maybe I gotta kick these guys' asses first. Maybe? No. It was folly to think that I could get through. The grave is open. Oh, Goofy, you're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. You have the power defense on your side. Actually, I should consider maybe using some magic. See ya. A lot of problems can be solved by just hitting things. But may maybe not all of them. See ya. No? No one I can talk to? Okay. That's fine. I'm glad. Man, I got this really nice black tea going right now. Uh, it's not as heavy as, say, an Earl Grey or an Orange Pico, uh, so it goes down really nice and smooth. It's great. 
All right, maybe maybe we talk to the brain professor again. Get his input on things. I know he said to talk to the mayor, but like maybe my face was blocking that. Webcam, off. Okay. Good talk, buddy. Maybe I just didn't explore the guillotine square enough. I would like a way out, please. That one's a game that I should play when I have people to collab with. I don't actually own a way out, but I imagine that it's relatively easy to come by. Okay, I tried the graveyard. Nothing really happened there. Maybe I pulled the thing again? I'm not gonna do the whole three times, cause like, if it didn't work that time, I must have ran out. It's the lab entryway. Where can I go from here? Maybe I have to clear up all the guys? You know, clean up the streets? I was kinda hoping that that was an entryway. No, are the streets already clean? I mean, mostly. Okay, there's nothing in the lab entryway. I checked the graveyard and there was nothing there. There wasn't anything... hanging out... by the door, either. So maybe I do have to go through the guillotine gate. I just didn't explore enough. Yeah, there's no way to go there. Maybe I should just use the... Maybe I should just use this guillotine. End it all. Let's check the game. There are no extra areas here. I can hit these. I mean, need. <laughs> I do need to ring the doorbell three times again. Three times? Nope. We already got our treat. Can't be greedy. Well, what the fuck? We gotta find the mayor. How do we get to the mayor? I can't... I'm infinitely falling. Alright, well. I can only infinitely fall on those, I can't actually climb them. 
I have a feeling I want to go up there, right? Can I actually make it up there? Yo, how's it going, Pepper Shaker? Nice to see you in. I'm, uh, trying to figure out where to go next, because they want me to talk to the mayor of Halloween Town, and they are nowhere in sight. <laughs> Maybe there's another exit to the lab. Maybe? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, we'll find him. Uh, there's my tea. I don't know why, but I always thought that, uh, Atlantica and the Halloween Town areas were exclusive to Kingdom Hearts 2. I think because, like, it was all about the costumes. I... <laughs> you know what? Thinking about it, it's probably because in uh, Mario Party. Mario Party 2 introduced costumes, so I always equate, like, a sequel that has different outfits as the second one. It's, it's a dumb assumption, I know, but, like, that's the only rationale I can think of. Okay, so I can examine... I can just get sucked into a vortex, I guess. <laughs> Alright, sure. I'm not gonna complain. We have prog... Also, Kingdom Hearts 2 had a much more edgy aesthetic, which fits Halloween Town a bit more. That's also very fair. I never actually played Kingdom Hearts 2, so... Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to say anything about it. Ghosts rise from these tombstones. Check the tombstones in the order the ghosts appear. If I'm wrong, I'm in for a surprise. Okay. Uh, okay. Two. Okay. I think this is it. Yep. Yep. Okay, I think it's that one. That one? Was it that one? That, that one. Yeah! My memory is a solid okay out of ten. Now look at the pumpkin, okay. Oh, the pumpkin exploded, okay. What do we got? Jack in the box, that's definitely surprising. Like a little kitty cat pumpkin. And that right small pea. My cat likes to do this thing where every time I'm sitting down here at the Kotatsu, he goes up there and he's gotta have like a paw on me. Just on my shoulder. Okay, didn't need to heal, but thanks, Sora. Alright, well, I don't need those guys. Now that I have a jack-in-the-box, the world is my oyster. Your cat always tries to sit on your arm and lies there? Oh man. When I'm in bed, my cat always likes to lay down. So, uh, when I sleep, I do, like, the whole tiger knee thing. Like, my, my, my legs are, like... I, I can't show in the camera. Like that. 
Uh, and he always likes to sit in the gap between my legs, so that if I move slightly, it'll just, like, launch him. Like a rocket. Alright, let's see if surprise. This time it's sure to work. Absolutely. Didn't work the last couple of times, but you know what? It's gonna just pop off now. Man, that kid was willing to just lay his life down for Oogie Boogie. I kind of respect that, but at the same time, like, you got better things to do with your life, kid. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. They're hooligans. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, uh, there were, like, that was the height of Java and Shockwave games. So there was uh, the kids' version of Yahoo called Yahooligans. They had like little Zero. message boards and like quick. you could play checkers against kids. It was fun. I miss early 2000s and like late 90s internet. That was when it was like an absolute wild west. Like the internet was popular enough where like a bunch of people were on it, but it was new enough where there wasn't a lot of moderation for it. Man, I gotta check to see, like, how my Neopets are doing. I think the last thing I did with them was check them into a hotel, because I didn't know if I was going to play the game anymore. But I think the time runs out in the hotel. <laughs> I feel like the internet did a 180 in 2008 and went in a completely different direction. You know, now that you say 2008, I kinda agree with you. It does feel like that's when it kinda... just changed angles entirely. What a Tim Burton-ass scene. Sorry guys, I gotta pop in here, please. Nope, gonna just cause a scene and have me kill you. I get it. Gotta die for what you believe in. It's a good motto. We're not on the hill, I don't think, so you know, I can't die on this hill, but you'll die nonetheless. But yeah, I just... The internet's different now, man. I mean... You know, on the plus side, it allows me to be here streaming for all you guys. I don't think uh, if we kept on that same direction, things would have taken off like they did. But we'd still have MySpace. I legitimately think that MySpace is still alive. It's just, uh... Like, like, it's there, but not hanging out. Like, it's not staying. I guess it wasn't in here. Where do you want me to go? Maybe it wasn't there. That was just too blind to see it. One thing I really miss is MSN Messenger. I know that, like, Discord is the equivalent now, but just the feel of it. And also, like, the skins for Windows Media Player. Like, just how gross they were sometimes. It was like, on the cusp of when they were really, really into making 3D graphics, but as PNGs. <laughs> so you'd have like that one skin for Windows Media Player that was like, 
some guy's bald forehead. You just play music on him. Alright. Let's go back here, because this is like the other place that I know of. That's the ghost thing. I don't see where I can go on the weird curly mountain. Eh, whatever. Maybe it was at the guillotine gate. Nope, definitely wasn't here. All I can do is save there. I'm really glad that people are archiving the Flash content, now that, like, it's super dead. Like, that whole era of the internet needs to be preserved. That and the Wayback Machine, I can't believe, like, how far it goes. All right, Doctor. They uh, they went on the hill. Good talk, buddy. I got really, really lucky when I was a kid. The elementary school that I went to was super into getting into the digital age. Like they were all for it. We had two separate computer labs. We had a Windows lab and a Mac lab, on top of the fact that we had computers in the library. Like, they were all on board for it. And because of that, like, everyone who went to my school was computer literate. I think it was really important for that era, too, because, like, computer literacy meant the difference between like, having skills for the future or not, at that point. It wasn't like the 80s where, like, the internet felt like a fad. So I'm told, I, I grew up in the 90s, not the 80s. But, uh, like, in the 90s, everyone kind of knew that that's where the world was going. I wish we could have a world where that has the aesthetics of the 90s, 2000 internet, but the power and speed of modern internet. I'm sure that somebody can create something as a niche for that. Like, a social network that's based on, like, the aesthetic of the late 90s, early 2000s. I'd be super into that. Oh, thanks, Jack. Alright. So the cutscene happened here. I just need to figure out where to go. Tap and Zero's grave didn't do anything, that's for sure. I mentioned a few streams ago that I've been working on battle maps. I post work in GIMP, but I throw some 3D modeling from Blender. Today I did my first Blender-based map, and it's completely different to what I'm used to. Yeah! Uh, so I personally use Autodesk Maya, but I figure it's... Oh, jeez, it was in the kitty cat. Uh, but, yeah, I figure it's the same vibe. It, it feels completely different from GIMP. Like, holy shit. And not only that, but like... You have to think in a different space, too. Like... Some of the skills translate, but not all of them. But I'm sure that you can make some really cool stuff. Not only that, but like... If you get access to, like, a 3D printer, you could probably create, like drops for your battle maps, too. Oh, 
Why am I carrying a pumpkin? It gave me the option to, and I gladly took it, but... I don't know why I still have it. Oh, well, now it's gone. To, I need to be a little wild, please. There we go. So are you creating like 3D battle maps then? Like just translating it from 2D to 3D? Do the walls and blender and edit the tiles and get okay. That's really cool. I'm sure it's a really, really smooth way to do it. Oh man, those guys just destroyed me. Maybe I just gotta like go for it. Just pop on top. Nope, gotta kill these guys first. Fair enough. Prior to this, I create maps in GIMP and then add stuff like tables, bridges, and details and blender. Okay. Oh, please, I need to stay alive. Be gentle on me, game. I have an audience. I need to look cool. One thing that I like to, uh, to do when I like to design maps for stuff is uh, I take all of my dice and I throw them on a piece of paper. And like if a D4 landed, then that would be a mountain. And like, uh, you know, D12s would be a town. It was a really good way to randomize it, you know? But that's for like a world map. Battle maps, I don't think you can randomize that well. Or at least with that technique. Not only that, but like, having a land battle map can really make for better encounters. I think we're fine now. Nope. <laughs> Gotta take care of a couple gargoyles. Speaking of maps, uh, in the campaign prior to Fool's Gold uh, that Felix DM'd, uh, we didn't really have a name for it. But, uh, it was this really, really cool, like... How can I explain it? If you remember Bionicle, it was kind of like Matt and Nui, where, like, it was a world separated into element areas. So, like, uh, every area would be stronger in one element than another. Uh, and my character, Celeste, she was a whole starus. Uh, she grew up in water, and she was like a fisherman. And it was really cool, because, like, you know... If you're in water, then that's that's where all the fish are. And like, not a lot of people outside of it have that skill. I got really, really lucky in that campaign. Because in around 2016, I, uh, I went to Japan for the first time. And I went for a month, so... You know, we decided that my character was going to travel back to her hometown, and then when I came back, she would meet them in the next town over. And, uh, while I was gone in Japan, got a text message saying, Rest in peace, everyone died. <laughs> so I, I avoided the TPK by just 
being absent for the TPK. <laughs> Maybe they'll tell the story someday, because uh, all I got from it was, like, the highlights. Okay, now I think we're done with the enemies. Baller. One of my other characters that I played, uh, it wasn't a campaign, it was a campaign that my friend John DM'd. Uh, my old character died. He was like a, a druid that had like four bullets. It was great, but uh, after he died, I decided to make a pirate, because Assassin's Creed 4 was out, and I was super into pirates, I guess. And his whole shtick was that he had, like, eight pistols on his coat, and he would just, like, fire, drop, fire, drop, fire, drop. It was a really cool mechanic, because, like, I'd have to pick up the pistols afterwards and then reload them. That was a campaign where, like, everyone actually survived. Oh, I fucked up. But yeah, everyone survived that campaign, so, like, everyone got to retire. My character had his own ship. Uh, I, I think he, like, decided to date the alligator centaur that he met in the back alley one time during his retirement. I don't know. I... It felt weird that the campaign was over and I couldn't think of anything that my guy would do besides, like, set sail. So I decided to give him a relationship just cuz. Will you... Will you let me use the, the red attack? I, I have that. Okay. Ooh, can I get in there? Yes, I can. I can get to Guillotine Square from here? Jeez. How? Oh god damn it, that was one way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, actually, while we're here, it's probably a good idea to save, just in case. I do eventually want to have a stream where I get Dingo, Felix, and Gothi's player on, just to chat and have fun. I don't know if we'd play anything, or what we'd play. But I'd like to have a bunch of friends on, either way. Kind of like I do on uh, Sundays with the Jackbox stream. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
I'm always the DM, but I've also been interested in doing a pirate character. However, every time I suggest a pirate-themed one-shot, my party turns it down. That's too bad! Like, the idea isn't radically different. Like, you're, you're still traveling the world, it's just from the sea. I'm sure if you'd be into it, you might be able to get some randos to try out a pirate campaign. Mind you, it's always dangerous to play with randos because you don't know what their playstyle is. You might get, like, the whole murder hobo party, or, like... I don't know. I played an anime-based character expertly, but not everyone can, so... You might get that one guy who wants to be, like, you know, Jotaro and decides to do the Pathfinder Synthesis Summoner that is super broken that's banned, but whatever. Hopefully you can play your pirate someday, though. Or at least, uh not be delegated to the forever DM. Party hasn't played in a bit. Playing online has been difficult for us, but we're constantly making plans to do stuff. Might shoot in a, uh, shoot in a pirate somewhere. Yeah, I mean, like, the easiest way to do it is just... If you're the DM, Throw in a pirate-themed quest. Test the waters. <laughs> uh, I accidentally made a pun. But it, it's true. Like, try it out. See if they like it. If they like the quest, then they'll probably like the whole campaign. But I completely feel ya. Uh, where I am, the rules are no indoor social gatherings whatsoever, uh, whatsoever. And none of us really enjoy playing D&D online, just because, like, it, it's a time to just hang out with friends. Like, it, it's nicest to do in person. So, geez. We haven't played our campaign since, like, I want to say the beginning of December. I'm really hoping that the uh, people in our province are a bit more responsible and, uh, you know, actually follow the rules so we can get back to, like, meeting people in person. Oh, that's probably important. Try lighting it. Okay. Maybe I should have lit it while I was on it? Oh no! Is it bashing my head in? Okay. No, we're, we're still good. Crab Claw Keeper, uh, Keep Wave is really cute. I, I kind of like it. Like, they're all super well designed, but the Crab Claw is just, it's cute. It's got a little crab just hanging out there, living his best life. Sort of music am I into? Um, I'm down with a lot of whatever. I like, uh, a lot of alternative rock, uh, 2020 put me in an emo mood, so I was listening to a lot of Panic and My Chemical Romance at the time. Uh, J-pop. I, I don't listen to a lot of rap, but there are ones that I like. I don't know, I'm kind of a sponge for music. 
I'll listen to whatever, and it doesn't really matter what the genre is. How about you? What do you like to listen to? listen to one band at a time for several months? Oh. I get that. A lot of times I'll get, like, just the one song that carries me for, like, ever. Uh, most recently, it was... Uh, what was, it, what was it called? I think it was Rising Sun from Kamen Rider Zero One. Uh, it's the Shining Hopper insert theme when he, ever, uh, when he transforms, and it's just, it's a bop. Into the Beatles for a bit, but gotten into Mountain Goats recently. Okay. I know the Beatles, but I don't know the Mountain Goats. Maybe I'll have to check them out. Okay, well, I'm here now. But where is here? Can I cheat? I'm like... No, I can't. In 2019 2020, we're headed by a J-Rock band called The Pillows. Okay. I remember I was into Yui for a while. Uh, she did one of the openings for Bleach, and I just got really into her music. She's really good. Uh, Itsuru Matsuoka is fantastic, and everyone knows the Jam Project is great. I think I really like Mitsuru Matsuoka because, uh, like, not only is he really, really good as a singer, but he also played Kamen Rider Eternal, and then went on to do one of the uh, later Kamen Rider series opening theme songs. So I, I just can't get out of my head the fact that, like, this villain from a movie is now, like, the guy who announces the arrival of the hero. Actually, speaking of bands I found through Kamen Rider, uh, Beverly. Uh, she's fantastic. Uh, she's a Filipina singer that became really big in Japan, uh, and like, oh man, she's she's got great English, she's got great Japanese, she's fantastic. She did uh, one of the themes for one of my favorite games, Astral Chain. Uh, it was a Platinum Games game that was on the Switch. Uh, essentially, like, you had a JoJo stand <laughs> that you could control separately from your character. It was super fun to play. I, I definitely want to play it on stream. All right, let's kill some kids. I've been waiting for this. Ever since Titus. Oh man, I did not heal in time. Maybe I should pop up Arrow. That might save my ass. Really? I have to start from here? Oh, that... That was a solid yikes out of ten. Okay, let's do it. That's not how I'm supposed to do it. Most of the bands that I listen to are ones I found through shows, movies, and other media. Uh, the Pillows did the entirety of FLCL. 
You know, I'm I love Gynax, but I never ended up watching FLCL. I I feel really bad about it, but like it just I just never encountered it. Uh, but I completely get you. Uh, my entire like early 2000s ska phase was because of the Digimon the movie soundtrack. And that's how I learned about Less Than Jake and the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Jeez, though. Like, every time somebody brings up FLCL, I, I get amazed that I just never encountered it. Okay, I got a shield, so I can- I will die less. I felt CL hits emotionally the hardest when you're 12 because it's bad, but not because it, uh, it's very- sorry. Not because it's bad, but because it's very much thematically about adolescence, so it emotionally relates to people who are that age. Damn! I did not watch it at the right time, though. Okay. Wind heals. I, I do completely get that, though. Uh, when I watched Gurren Lagann for the first time, uh, it was at a point in my life where I just could not believe in myself. Like, I, I was very much a very inward kind of person. And, you know, I watched the first eight episodes back when it was first coming out, and when episode eight hit, it really broke my heart. Uh, because, you know, this person who lifted me up so high kinda left. Uh, but I came back to it on my first solo trip out of the country. Uh, and I watched the entire thing on my way to and from San Diego. And, you know, the whole trip was just, it was a growing experience. And my self-confidence shot up. I got accepted into college while I was on vacation. I got the phone call saying I was accepted, like... Gurren Lagann was a very transformative experience for me, and... Uh... Here. Just to show off how much I like Gurren Lagann... When I got home from, uh, San Diego, after watching the last episode with a whole bunch of turbulence on the plane... I got... Ah. Ring light. Cooperate. I got this. There we go. Oh god, ring light, please. There we go. And yeah, I got that to remind me Every time I look in the mirror to believe in the me who believes in me. And <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to admit it, but it, it does work. Every time I look at it, I just, I remember that the whole experience and things just feel better, you know? Though I will admit that tattoo gave me a couple of side glances when I went to the bathhouse in Tokyo. Uh, I went to one that specifically was cool with people having tattoos, but because I have a flaming skull tattoo that kinda... makes people think. But I found the green door. I, I found it earlier, and I probably won't be able to figure out where it was again, but I found it. Come on, 
I'm actually really happy that, like, a bunch of the really great talent from Gainax just left and made their own studios. Uh, a lot of allegations have come out where Gainax had some really shady stuff going on. And they, like, they bailed at the right time. I think I'd like to get an FLCL tattoo one day, but I'm not sure what I'd get. It, it's a hard decision, especially since, like, it's gonna stick with you forever, so you gotta pick the right thing. I was seriously considering getting the full Kamina tattoo set, like, with the, the blue circles and everything, but... That would have been a bit much, so I, I just went with the dagger and symbol on my arm. I was gonna get it on my back, but then I wouldn't be able to see it. And that was right for me. And I, I think you really just gotta think it through. What, what's gonna be the best for you. If you're gonna get something, like, emotional for a tattoo, if you're just gonna get a tattoo for body art, then go nuts. <laughs> there, there's no rules when it comes to tattoos. Give him back his heart. Oh, we're gonna play the slots. You want it? Mm -hmm. Well then, come on over and get it. Ah! Oh, that's probably not healthy. <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hello! Hey. Good job, buddy. You learned a new skill. Oh yeah, you gotta practice. Okay. Do we do we get slot mechanics? Do it. I mean, not slot. Do we get roulette mechanics? I guess there's a slot machine there. Okay. Oof. FLCL hit hard for me because I was a hardcore contrarian type at the time who constantly wanted to seem mature. And the show constantly made fun of that idea and made me more comfortable with myself and the ability to have fun. Yeah, that's incredibly important. Okay, dice, what are you... What's the mechanic? <laughs> But yeah, I, I think people underestimate the fact that media can help you grow as a person. Like, a lot of people just see it as like, oh, it's cartoons, like, fuck, whatever, right? Just pretty pictures flashing on a screen, but it's more than that. Alright, Oogie Boogie. I, I don't understand the mechanic. <laughs> Maybe I'll let myself die here. And just, uh, figure it out. Yeah. If I can't figure it out this time, I'll look it up. I'm really interested to see, like, what shows uh, the younger generations have that really influence their lives. Like, it would be interesting to see, like, how many kids end up, like, learning about personal responsibility through My Hero Academia or something like that. FLCL is very based on the idea of attracting people it wants to criticize. It completely is symbolic and metaphorical, but it makes fun of the idea of needing to search for deeper meaning in TV shows. It's about not overthinking things, and I'd really recommend it. I'll definitely check it out at some point. I, just, I, I feel bad because I always end up not watching it. Want it? Well, then come on over and get it. Ah! 
But I do like the idea of making fun of people who try to search for deeper meaning and stuff that really doesn't need it. Steven Universe is 100% going to be responsible for a lot of, like, self-growth in people. Oh, you know what? I think I have to be on the one where Oogie is. But yeah, I, Steven Universe has a lot of really, really good messages that they deliver in a really elegant way. And like, you know, there are some kind of boring episodes and maybe some messages that don't hit as well as they could, but on the whole, like, a lot of Gunex people went on to work at Trigger, right? Yeah, uh, Hiroyuki Imaishi, uh, the guy who directed Gurren Lagann, uh, created Studio Trigger and took a lot of the talent with him. No, I chose the wrong one again. Alright, well, I'm gonna get some of that going. But yeah, uh, highly recommend checking out Trigger if you want your Gainax fix. Uh, Anno from Evangelion made Studio Kara. Uh, he went on to do, you know, the rebuild movies for Evangelion, but also Shin Godzilla, which was really, really good. It was like... Shin Godzilla was great because it made fun of political bureaucracy in the face of crisis. So, like... The entire time, everyone's trying to figure out, like, how to deal with Godzilla, but bureaucracy gets in the way. Let me up there! Okay, I'm gonna look up the mechanic, because I thought I had it, but nah. How do I do this? Okay. So I have to step on the lights that represent sections, so I can trap Oogie, so I can go and attack him. I think he's just gonna, like, throw dice. Okay. I'm sure I can figure that out. Going back to Steven Universe, uh, I was teaching an animation summer camp, uh, and one of the girls that I was teaching, uh, drew a lot of inspiration from Steven Universe, and she told me just, like, how much it drove her to become an artist and how she wanted to work on animation, because of how much this show moved her. And I really appreciate that. Like, it's really nice to see that media hits such a strong message nowadays. I, I think, like, Phineas and Ferb is going to be really, really good, too, uh, for just creativity and not letting other people get you down if you have crazy ideas. You want it? Well, then, come on... Oh, 
Well, I think I get this now. So I have to figure out where Oogie Boogie is, and then I gotta press the, uh, dealio. I got it. Also, I just learned that square is block. The only animation class I've ever done was one freshman year of high school, because they were teaching cell-based animation, even though it was basically already dead. I mean, cell-based animation is, uh, still going. Uh, if you want a good modern example, uh, check out Redline by Madhouse. They did, uh, 100,000 hand-painted frames of animation. Oh, I messed up. That was one too far. But that's really cool. My my school didn't have any of that. <laughs> I, I took an art class where basically the teacher was kind of just only pushing realism. Which I get, that's where the foundations are based, but like... You gotta let people explore what they want to do. Where the hell is he? Here, I think I trapped him. No! Oh wait! Yes! Yes! This is this is what I wanted! Okay, I think I get the mechanic now. I really hope that more schools make classes like that available. Like, I, I know that arts classes are always the first to get cut when the budget is low, but I, I think having more varied choices would be really, really good. Like, I get that they're really pushing... Oh shit. They're really pushing STEM right now. And... I guess? But... You have to have entertainment as well. I always hated doing environments until last June when I got the battle mask for online D&D. &D, and from that I ended up getting really good environments. Yeah, absolutely. Environments are really, really fun if you can get a good flow going. In my opinion, at least. One thing that was really hard to get until, like, I wrapped my brain around it was perspective. And, you know, it, it, it still kind of flummoxes me a bit. But not as much now that I've practiced it. The one exercise that will piss me off forever was uh, color wheels. Basically, what you need to do was exactly that. Make wheels of color. Uh, and their compliments and their like, triads and stuff like that. I just, I could not. Oh, jeez. Maybe I heal. I need to alive myself, please. Alright, Boogie. Okay, I got him. While continually dying on a color wheel. It, it pains me to this day. It's come back. Alright. I don't see his uh, health bar. Which kind of scares me. Oh jeez, he just he just chose that one. He didn't even go for the dice. Where the hell are you, Oogie Boogie? Did I trap you? I did. No, I'm, I'm gonna get a combo in. There we go! 
I think I won. Yes. The the gross slow mo that makes me want to throw up means that I have succeeded. One thing I really wish I was able to get into was my music class. I was forced to take it because I was in that IB program, which was like AP, but for like hipsters. And uh, the rule was that you had to take an arts class and a language. And the school that I was at only offered uh, French as language. And then you had to take a full credit course for the arts class. And the only one that they did for that was music. So I resented it because I had no options. Like, I want to take drama, I want to take art, but, like, now nah, you gotta, you gotta play an instrument. Oh, he bit. He's brimming with the power of darkness. Alright, all I gotta do is hit the globs of darkness. Oh, okay, guess we're fucking off. How about we go back and deal with this, okay? Looks like we're starting from the bottom. That's alright. Because we've got the power of friendship on our side. Man, dark... like... The concept of darkness can really take a hit, damn! <laughs> now, like... Go inside you, Oogie Boogie? No, that isn't a shortcut. I was a fool to think otherwise. Excuse me? Please let me into that secret area. I want the gifts that are down there. I'm actually really proud that Oogie Boogie didn't kill me as much as Ursula in my last stream for Kingdom Hearts. Because, like, I was getting wrecked by Ursula. I had to look up how to, like... Okay, maybe I can cheese this. I had to look up how to survive that fight. There's a very good reason that I put the casual tag on my streams. Because I am very much a filthy casual. I need to get one of those filthy casual t-shirts that people were wearing for a while. Oh no! Oh, hey, there's one right there. Aha! See ya. I really gotta start using my magic more. I just wanna tap X and win. So I always forget about... How? <laughs> how? How did I perfectly align myself for failure like that? I'd be impressed if I weren't set back. I'm like 90% sure I wasn't supposed to go that way, but, you know, it worked. Can't complain when I'm winning, right? Oh, I should probably heal. 
It's not a TV animation. I wonder how online indie stuff will inspire the youth in the future. Well, especially since they have, like, such great access to it, too. Like, uh... You know, for people like us, I assume, it was, like, Ego Raptor and Homestar Runner. Oh, that, that wasn't a heal. That's a heal. But there's, like, a lot of really cool stuff out there right now. And, you know, it, it's sad, but, like, some of the douchebag YouTubers are going to end up inspiring a couple of kids. But I really hope that, like, that era kind of dies once people are more cognizant of it. I really believe in Gen Z. Like, they are doing some really cool stuff, so I'm sure they'll figure it out. Oh. Like, I'm sure webcomics are going to end up inspiring a lot of this upcoming generation. Alright, maybe there isn't enough darkness up ahead. Yeah, I missed it. Oh no, there's one right here. I'm good. Nice! Oh man, I think we're gonna actually beat Halloween Town this stream. I'm kind of impressed. Go me. Sorry about that, I think Automod... For some reason thought that fools was a mean word and that that shouldn't be it because I'm kind of part of the fools cult team <laughs> there we go I really hope that uh the fools gold series inspires people to get really creative with D&D &D and try to make something out of their campaigns. Or at the very least, try D&D. &D. We'll I'm sure that there's going to be, like, the Felix equivalent Next to the Mercer time, effect, we'll where people are like, oh, I want customized backstory and a grand epic campaign that incorporates everything. And, like, that's a good thing to have, but you gotta realize that not all DMs are like that. Sorry, Pepper Shaker, I don't know how to restore your messages now that I've helped my auto mod actually work. I've gone so far in streaming and I still don't know how to work the auto mod. Oh, hey, new Keyblade! What is a heart? I don't know what it is, but we're making it. Alright, well, let's check out the uh, new Keyblade that we got. Oops, that's items. Ooh, Pumpkin Head is definitely... stronger. But I like my crab. <laughs> my crab's good. Also, a little bit of point of order, uh, now that, like, I'm established as a content creator, uh, I have been, like, asked to send stuff. Yo, how's it going, Aaron? Actually, it's a good thing you're here, Aaron, uh, because you were pestering me about this yesterday. Uh, I have, in fact created a Discord server now. So, we good. Uh, I'll post the link uh, on Twitter or something. Probably here, too. 
And, uh... Yeah, we're... I'll have... An area where people can hang out with each other outside of... Streams. And also send me stuff. Because a lot of people have been asking me, like... Hey, Carson, what's your friend code for Dragalia Lost? Hey, Carson... Can I send you this cool fan art of Arena that I made? Uh... Ore! Sanjo! How's it going, Justifies? Thanks for popping in. Oh yeah, I gotta go find Merlin. I'm so happy I don't have to customize the pot, uh, the gummy ship too much. That's the time I thought there'd be a good chance. Should be close to 10 year time. Yeah, uh, so... I'm in Mountain Standard Time, so it's about 10 PST, uh, almost 11 for me. Uh, I usually stream like two and a half hours, three. So, uh, yeah, if you catch me at, like, 9 PST, then that's where I'll be starting. But I'll be going until around, like, 11.30. Uh, let's talk to Merlin, though. I found a torn page from him. Didn't really get into gummy creation till Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, it feels really janky in this game, doesn't it? Ooh. Alright, well first, I want to practice magic. And second, I want to see... Oh, Spellbinder looks really nice. And it's better at magic. But I specced into hitting things really hard, so... I'm hoping my group is vaccinated by March because I've been working on a custom system or more heavy D&D mod that I'm going to playtest. Oh man, I, I really hope that goes well for you. I'd love to see more D&D content just come out. Alright, let's practice some magic. Okay, so it auto locks. See ya. Okay. Let's go back. Oh yeah, you'll notice better graphical fidelity in Kingdom Hearts 2, especially the facial expressions and mouth flaps. I'm I'm sure I will. I've been told that like you got to go through Kingdom Hearts 1 because you got to take your lumps. Uh, and then Kingdom Hearts 2 is like magic compared to this. So I'm super down for it. Let's go back to the cavern. Yeah, uh, here in Canada, we are, like, getting no vaccines. Well, I won't say no vaccines, but we're getting, like, a tiny... Oh. Sorry, guys. Aaron says to hydrate. There we go. Uh, have I played Chain of Memories? Yes! Uh, actually, I never played Re-Chain of Memories. I played the original one on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, that was my first Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, so, it's uh, gonna be interesting. <laughs> I was thinking of playing Re-Chain of Memories until I got frustrated of it, and then just moving on. Yeah, like, when I say that I've only played the Kingdom Hearts games that were side games, I mean I played all of the side games. 
I played Chain of Memories, uh, 358 Days Over 2. I played uh, Birth by Sleep, which you could say that is a main game, but everyone just called it a side game. And uh, 3D and Recoded. Uh, but before I played 3. And I played, like, the Union Cross, but... Dream Drop Distance? Yeah! Uh, there's actually a full remake on here. Like, a full remake of Dream Drop Distance. So, I'm probably gonna end up playing that on stream as well. I actually think Kingdom Hearts 2 is even better without playing Chain of Memories. Just seeing the events in the opening of Kingdom Hearts 2 is like, oh, oh I get it. It's the opposite for me, because, like, in my timeline, Sora played Yu-Gi-Oh, then fell asleep, and then it was all about Roxas. <laughs> I, I had no connection to Sora, Riku, and everyone else until Dream Drop Distance. Mostly because, like, I didn't really get into Coded. <laughs> you could really tell that it was a DS port of a phone game. One of my favorite things, though, was just how cool the Tron world looked in Dream Drop Distance. And the fact that they had characters from The World Ends With You. Aw oh, man, it was so cool. It's better than the 3DS because you have a larger screen and better control, though flow motion is still broken. Mm. Flow motion was really hard to get into, and like by the time I actually got it, it, it was like really late in the game. What's up, large dude? Poor things, yeah. They fix it in Kingdom Hearts 3 and you get a handle of it early. Oh yeah, I played through all of Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, base game, not Remind. I think the only games that I'm missing are 1 and 2. And I guess Melody of Memory, but I don't know where that sits in the timeline. Hmm. Don't need any of those. After... Oh, Remind specifically. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna go through Remind, because it feels like it's just gonna be a boss rush. I might just look up the cutscenes. Sorry guys, give me one sec. Uh, I think somebody might have accidentally left the door open. There we go. Remind's important, so at least watch the cutscenes? Absolutely. Alright, so specifically, I think I need the... Uh, Yo, how's it going, Andy? Thanks for popping in! You're gonna see me not do well at Kingdom Hearts. We we beat Halloween Town, and I think I can go back to Peter Pan World now, but I'm not 100% sure. I redo fights with uh, Organization 13. And I get new tag attacks with... Uh, the gang. That's cool. Pepper Shaker experienced most Kingdom Hearts secondhand. Uh, had a friend who was super into it, but always a Zelda dude. Yeah, I never owned a PS2 until like the very end of its life cycle. Like, I, I guess the best way to describe it is uh, Persona 3 Portable was already out, so I didn't even think to get it on. Ooh, sorry. I didn't even think to get Persona 3 on PS2. I just got for PSP. Oh. Yeah, Aaron. That's a, that's a pretty good approximation of my kitty cat. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't go that far. And I don't want to be an asshole and move my cat to the camera. But that is a very good look at my kitty cat. Alright, I can't go up there. 
And I need the yellow Trinity attack for that, which I don't have yet. Ooh. Oh. This one's for you, Pepper Shaker. Thanks for spending your shark coins. I'm really happy that I added that. I feel bad for you guys, because uh, I don't have the emotes uh, like accepted yet. Like They're still going through the process, so you can't redeem your shark coins to use sub-emotes. Uh, so I threw that stay hydrated for you guys, just to be able to do something. It's funny, I only became a Kingdom Hearts fan mid-high school. My sister liked Kingdom Hearts even though she was, uh, wasn't a gamer girl, so she only remembered some stuff. We had all three PS2 games, but at the time I was like 7 or 8 because of summer camp. I was sick of Disney at the time. Oof, yeah. All of my friends talked about Kingdom Hearts. But, again, I, I had a PS2, uh, two, like, mid-junior high. So, nothing really came of it. Jeez, how old was I when Kingdom Hearts came out? That was like 2002, 2003? So I would be like 9 or 10 when it was just coming out. Which means, hey, I would have been like... I want to say... 11 at the time uh, Fate Stay Night happened. Interesting fact. Aaron, you love my cat? Aw, he's great. He always likes to hang out when I stream. So anytime you pop by, he'll probably be there. And if not, he's probably coming. I should make a shark coin reward for uh, my kitty cat. But I don't know what it should be. What do you guys think? What, what would you spend your shark coins on for interacting with my cat? It wasn't last time he was hiding? Yeah. Well, I think he came and went. So, how come you can fly? Anyone can fly. You wanna try? Been getting giving Valentine's and fake go. I'm loving it both ways, and even seeing ones already seen with boys is awesome. Uh, yeah! Yet, uh, I finished all of my female servants, because uh, for some reason yeah. I have more Why male servants than female servants. I've been doing them evenly. Uh, but what I really appreciate is uh, servants like Enkidu, uh, Astolfo and Chevalier, uh, you can both give chocolates to them and get chocolates from them. So, like, it, it's great because they're really respecting the characters that they created. Add something for rubbing the cat's bottom jaw area with one finger. I think he likes that. As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. I think I'll just make it a general, like, pet the cat. The heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake the other hand, it's lost. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll make it, like, it, kitty no uh, chin scratch. Uh, in fact... The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is... We're in the cutscene, I can do this. Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. What is it? Oh, uh, let's see. Peter? We're going to make that a 500 point reward. Wendy. Please hurry. The pirates are coming. What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on. Wendy? Yeah. Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes, but she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie, Kyrie. There we go. Uh, oh no, I need a reward icon. Um, we're doing this live, I guess. Uh, oh. Smokey. Oh. Wendy. Hey, let's get up there. 
pose for the camera. There we go. I'll just send that to myself. Am I aiming for 100% completion? I don't think I remember. No, I'm not. Uh, I just want to play the game and get through it. Because <laughs> the first Kingdom Hearts doesn't feel as great as the other ones. I did promise that I'd try to do Metal Chocobo. I don't pl I don't promise. Um. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to make a, a limit on chin scratches, because uh, I can't just pet my cat the entire stream. Actually, I think the best way to do it... You can request five chin scratches on my cat per stream. There's a cooldown of 15 minutes. Uh, and I think that's it. And if I'm correct, then that means... Yep, it's in there. So now... Yeah, there you go. You can sort of see him. There we go. There we go. Sorry, guys. Rarely see the point of 100% completion, even for games like this. It depends. If you want... If you're, like, super into the game and want to experience everything, then absolutely. I, I'm down for doing 100%. I did that with Majora's Mask. Uh, all confidence rank 10 Persona 5. Ooh, jeez. Well done on that one. Only ever did 100% in Zelda 1 Mario Galaxy, though not Luigi. Also working towards 100% on Celeste. Ooh. I've always heard that Celeste is fantastic, but I really, really haven't had the chance to play it. I've got a spreadsheet for games that I have but haven't finished or played yet, and it's getting bigger every time I buy a new game. <laughs> Play it three times over with New Game Plus, so easier than you think? Oh, that's fair. Okay. Gotta get back. Back to the past Samurai Jack. Watcha! The Platinum Trophy for Persona 5 Royal was a lot easier to get than base Persona 5, which is really interesting. Because there was more to do in that game, too. Ah, oh, catch you later, Pepper Shaker! Thank you so much for popping in! Actually, the one critique I have when it comes to ro uh, romance is that the earlier you do it, the less you have to do. It's just, you guys shared a moment and moved on. Sort of. Uh, Kawakami and uh, Hifumi, you actually get the Hawaii scene. Uh, and you can only do that if you, you know, go through their quest by the time you get to Hawaii. So it's really nice. Uh, P5R adds... Uh, a couple new events, but it doesn't force you to, like, do everything early. It, it's more towards, like, the later game. 
And it's like, it's post victory content, so. Romance Kawakami second playthrough, so yes, I've seen that Kawakami snippet in the trailer and I'm excited. Yeah. I. In my first playthrough of Vanilla Persona 5, I romanced Kawakami. Uh, because that's the character that I, as Carson, would romance. Uh, but then I remembered, like, you're playing as a high schooler. <laughs> so that, that felt. It dampened the experience a tiny bit. Uh. I did... Yeah, I did Kasumi in my royal playthrough. Because, uh, you know, it, it felt like that was the cannon ship. And, yeah, it, it feels like that. You romance Makoto, Kawakami, and Anne in that order? Oh, boy. No, uh, actually, straight up, you can get locked out of content if you don't do her social link. Uh, basically, uh, for any of you guys... Also, hey, I found out how to get up there. Uh, for any of you guys who want to play Persona 5 Royal, highly recommend that you max out the, uh, Counselor social link, Kasumi social link, and Akechi social link. Because that is the only way you get to play the Royal content. Was wondering, I will romance Kasumi first. Absolutely. Just, uh, know that it's a slow burn. Like, ha! don't expect anything until the new content, I guess. How do I... Can I hit that? Oh, I can just walk through. Okay, the collision just wasn't doing anything. Say for Akechi's confidant when I heard. No spoilers, but he was one of my favorites in P5. Yeah, uh, Akechi is great in P5R. Alright, gotta step on the spot. I should have popped by the Moogle's place when I was in Traverse Town. Kinda regretting not doing that now. Kinda of regretting getting so close to that door. There we go. I figured out the controls. Robbie Damon really gave it his all, and he knows that when the voice director tells you, you to yell wait. and scream, you do it. 100%. The entire English cast of Persona 5 really went all out on it, and I appreciate the shit out of it. They definitely know what's up. I said it on the Final Fantasy XIV cast, but I'll say it again. Uh, it really does feel like I'm kind of phasing out of wanting to do animation and going more towards wanting to do voice acting. Uh, it's a really weird feeling, because like I, I did college for animation. Uh, so I, I really felt like I needed to come to grips with the fact that like... It was a good experience, and it was relevant experience to voice acting, too. So I, I shouldn't, like, fret about it. So I think that even for people who liked Love Persona 5, they were Westerners, they fully understand the social... Mm. Japanese social norms. The game is about breaking, so they don't get the totality of the character's issues. I mean, I, I guess. But at the same time, like, if you have a good director that can compensate the for that a bit...
Oh, jeez. Like, on having naturally blonde hair and being part Japanese makes her exotic, or the meaning of Ryuji dyeing his hair. And Akechi's whole deal. No, that's fair. But again, a really good direction can absolutely help with that. Riku, wait! Or wait, you weren't talking about uh, the voice actors, were you? You were talking about people who played it. Which, yeah. Uh, knowing Japanese social norms absolutely help you out with knowing what's going on. And it adds a layer of appreciation to it. Having the slightest infraction on your report can ruin your life, like the guy who played Jotaro in uh, the live-action Jojo movie got busted for possession. Damn! Yeah. Well, actually, a recent thing that came out. Uh, the actor who played uh, the main character in Kamen Rider Black, he has been banned, like blocking people on social media if they don't give him money. Like, he really ruined the super fan's life by blocking him on social media when he wouldn't go to Indonesia to see him. And that's sad, because, like, most people, that's their favorite Showa season, uh, is Kamen Rider Black. See people asking why Akechi's so upset? Yeah. Okay, I've really got to focus on this fight, because I'm, uh... I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm sure I have potions and I can use them, but I've got a quick menu for, uh, magic. Come on. If I die here, we're gonna call it. Actually, this will probably help. If I do this, I can see if he has a health bar. Probably should have done that earlier, but, uh... Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well, I've been looking at this treasure chest the entire time, and I would like it. here. Oh, jeez. Wendy. Really for Black's Not actor? Now. Long since taking a well, stance of enjoy the work and not punish if the people are working on it Wendy. is one you don't like? Oh, yeah, like, you know, I'll still like Kamen Rider Black, but, like, the guy can be a dick. <laughs> Don't deify people or make celebrities your uh, role models. That's not their job anyways. Yeah. I... I don't know. Like, you can definitely take stuff...
from celebrities and make them your role models, but also realize that they're human and can fail you. But, I think I'm going to call that for tonight. Uh, we were able to beat Halloween Town, uh, and I finally figured out how to get through the door in uh, the Peter Pan world. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Uh, uh, there we go. Another Anituber, what the what? Expose himself as a hypocrite and a giant prick, but I still like his content. That's fair. Well, and everyone's gonna have different opinions about that kind of stuff, so... People process that... Uh, those situations differently. But yeah, uh, we're gonna be playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake on Wednesday. Uh, we're gonna probably go back into Sonic Adventure 2 on Saturday. And depending on what the crew wants to do, we might do another Jackbox stream on Sunday. Uh, same Shark Times, Same Shark Channel. Absolutely. Uh, other point of order? I'm in the middle of creating a Discord server. I'm just ironing out the details. Uh, so chances are I'll post it tomorrow. And people can hang out outside of the stream. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, but anyways, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you later.